please note that anything I say in this video is just speculation and that these are just my ideas that I want some feedback on which if you could leave it in the comments below and also share the video if you enjoy and be sure to check out my Twitter which is at I don't stop gaming for other stuff like uh, thoughts more speculation and video updates all right watch the video all right hey guys IDSG here and welcome to my seventh high pixel skyblock speculation video and in this video we're going to be discussing the abyss which was briefly talked about in a uh, proposed change log for the fu for future updates in Hypixel Skyblock. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as always. And also check out my Twitter. And, uh, okay, so the Abyss is probably going to be an island that we go to via some sort of quest related to the Viking NPC that's on the foraging island. If you guys don't know, there's a Viking NPC slash quest thing, which is on the uh, left side of the uh, spruce forest area in the foraging island. I'm not sure the exact coordinates, but I'll put a picture of it, a, a picture of it right now. Uh, so maybe it involves a sinking ship because uh, the Viking NPC he talks about how he misses the sea and stuff. And so maybe his ship crashed or something. I don't know. And, but, like, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it the, the could be like a sinking ship that, like, you, you're you riding on. And then you get, like, swallowed into the depths of the ocean called the Abyss or something. I don't know. But I think it would be cool if they added some sort of uh, quest, quest line for that. So another thing that I can see being a possible thing they can add in this update is a new potion status for because you're so deep in the ocean. I was thinking uh, maybe a, a status called pressure, which would do 10 to 100 true damage and reduce the walk, walk speed of the player but for every 100 blocks from the surface of the water. And also the walk speed will be reduced from 5 to 50% depending on how deep you are. So if you're in like fairly shallow water, you're going to be slightly slower. But if you go like all the way down, you're going to be like pretty dang slow. Uh, I, but I feel like the uh, diver set should be buffed to be immune to this kind of potion effect. And also for this underwater area, I think the Prismarine Blade and Bow either need like a buff or they need some sort of upgrade to it. Uh, another thing to reduce the effect of pressure I was thinking is maybe like bubble talismans, like a set of bubble um, talismans. So bubble talisman, bubble ring, bu bubble artifact that would reduce the effect of uh, the pressure status by 10 to 35 percent depending on the level of course and i the reason i add i say they probably would add this is so that people don't get too mad over the true damage and stuff but i i think the true damage should like happen like maybe every like 10 seconds so it wouldn't be like immediately like True, 10 true damage like every every time you go down you get it um so possible mobs i can see here are anglerfish eels jellyfish squids and guardians i don't know the lanternfish eels and jellyfish i'm proposing they might do armor stands for like the the models for them or they might just be like heads or something i don't know but i feel like if you're going to talk about the abyss then you gotta get some deep sea creatures like these uh, some possible bosses I can see for this area are the elder guardian uh, maybe some sort of kraken boss and quite possibly the fishing mini bosses as this could be like 
the origin of where they come from. So the potential boss I want to discuss is the Kraken boss, which I'm saying would have around maybe 12 million HP or higher or lower maybe, I don't know. Uh, there would be four phases to it and uh, the boss can't go back to each phase by healing. And these phases are a grabbing phase, a rush phase, a ink phase, and its last stand phase. For its grab phase, I think it should be like a more mostly static phase and start of the fight. So like its first 3 million health where the uh, Kraken holds itself down with its tentacles and every 300k HP taken off before the next phase of course. It will grab six players uh, at random in the room and hold them in place in the air for eight seconds before throwing them like back towards the wall behind them. And upon hitting the wall, the players would take 600 damage each. Uh, so in the rush phase, when the boss hits 9 million HP, the Kraken should begin to rush back and forth across the room every 10 seconds. Like maybe it would, it would say like a chat message before the phase, like right before the phase begins, like the Kraken is enraged or something, I don't know. And uh, this rush would deal knockback and uh, maybe like 1500 AoE damage to players in a 25 block radius. And if you're one of the unlucky people who get hit, hit head on by the freaking Kraken, uh, it would deal 350 true damage. And stun you for five seconds once it, once you hit the wall. Because I'm thinking the uh, headbutt would also deal knockback as well. So for the ink phase, when the boss reaches six million HP, which is half health, uh, it will begin to splash ink in everyone's face every ten seconds, and that would also deal five hundred damage and blind each player for five seconds while the boss heals itself for 5,000 HP per second for 5 seconds. And this is the only phase uh, in the whole boss fight where the boss would actually try to heal itself. So don't worry about this like being a problem later on. Uh, so in its final phase, last stand, uh, when it hits 3 million HP, the Kraken deals 1.5 times damage it did before and use the attacks of the previous phases. So it would like pick, it, it, it'll like grab you, rush, ink, what, etc. That's it, and never mind. Uh, it'll randomly pick whether to use ink or rush every 10 seconds, of course, uh, so that they, so that it, both of them don't just like get mixed up or something. And Ink and Rush will be prioritized every 10 seconds over grab. So like, even if you like get like uh, over 300,000 damage, like, uh, but on on that 10 second, like, it will it wouldn't grab you. It, it would just prioritize the Ink or the Rush, whichever one it randomly chooses. I'm not sure if you guys understood that, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, and the ink will not heal the boss, only blind and uh, damaged players. Uh, as for the drops, uh, I'm thinking it could be dropping like abyssal shards, which, can, which you can use for like some, some sort of like kraken armor or squid armor. I don't know. Uh, maybe you can see an upgrade to the squid boots. I don't know. Maybe give like. I don't actually know. Maybe it will actually like confuse opponents. I don't know. Uh, but that's kind of all I got for this video. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And also follow me on Twitter, <laughs> which is at I Don't Stop Gaming, which I'll plug on screen right now. And uh, yeah. <sighs> Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't stop gaming, guys. Peace out.